What did you make of the French? They look like they're creating something special. Yeah, they, they're, they're sharp, they're, they're fast, they're, they're all out of attack. Um, uh, DuPont, the nine, yeah. he's got great support lines. Um, he's, he's, one thing I noticed with him, he makes great decisions of when to just go pass yeah. and then when to have a snipe. Um, but he's always there. Mm. He's always there or thereabouts. Um, Influences the, the game. Yeah. Um, then the other guy, Fiku, was the one that took my eye. Um, he's, you know, he's 26, so he's, he's a little bit older than, I think, DuPont's 20. And who's the first five? Um, Intermac. Intermac, yeah. So he's 21, mm. I think, or the other way around. Um, and he he's one of those players, like we spoke about Rico and, and players that can turn a game on its head. Yeah. Well, Fiku is that player. Like, it, he chases kicks hard. So he does he does the hard work, but he's also got the finesse and, and the confidence and, and the, the skill set, but mm. like that flair or something you can't put you put words to you know but you just watch it and yeah. you're like holy heck he, he's yeah. he's got a hell of a game going they're going to be scary come 2023 yeah. if you think about the under 20s program that they've had as well they've been successful and so you know if you think around those players coming through we talk about the young guys well, these are through. the guys isn't it? exactly you know so we talk about us building something special i think mm. you know the french are going to be very dangerous and if you think about probably the last four or five years we probably haven't had that conversation around the french mm. you talk around the and they, they look like a french team yeah. That, yeah, you know, it's just finding that consistency. Correct. So you know, Intermark is twenty-one against Sexton on the weekend, and you know he he put on a clinic. Mm. Yeah. But he didn't just put on a clinic. His his kick options. We talk about you know balance of attack before. Yep. His balance of attack was on point. You know, he was smart enough to drop back in the pocket and play territory where he, when he saw wingers up after he'd done a chip kick and that led to mm. a try. He found kick space through attacking kicks. He found space for others with with his passing game. So. For 21 years of age, mm. you know, we're talking about Lolo Sio and, and, you know, and, yeah. and, and the growth that he's going to have. Well, this guy's been in and around the system for a bit and it's just showing how his game mm. is going from strength to strength because it was a good island team. Mm. Yeah. It, was, it, it, was, it was a helter-skelter game. The only thing that would be a concern for them probably is just the other side of the ball <laughs> is yeah. defence and yeah. making sure they stop points. Um, they've got some big boys that are doing a lot of work up front um, I think LaRue, <coughs> who was one of the most um, dominant tacklers, I think he, had, uh, he was second in, in dominant tackle stats. So big boys are doing a lot of work. It just needs to be probably backed up with some one-on-ones out wide. Yeah. What about the English? I mean, they took the title. It was on a count back. Um, are the French in a position better than the English look going forward, do you think? Oh, for, for me, England defence is what's winning them titles. So, mm. so it's not pretty, but their physicality in defence tires teams out yep. and, and, and they're just relentless when they don't have ball in hand. They'll, they'll get better ball in hand and, and as they make some changes in working um, but no, I don't, think, I don't think the French are there yet. Purely, look, England won mm. but it's their defensive relentlessness and, and um, so I've got the top five defenders here. Atoji first, second was Leroux from France, third Underhill or third equal Third Underhill from England, third equal Tom Curry from England, and then James Ryan. So in the top five defenders yeah. are three English players. And that's what, you win titles based on defence. That's how they won the semi-final against yep. the All Blacks, was through that brutal defence and that. And these boys throw themselves into breakdowns like you just wouldn't believe. And it just doesn't allow you attack. It stagnates your attack. It's no fast ball. It's all slow ball. So you've got to play, you know, you've got to play on the back foot or you've got to find, you know, mm. other avenues to, to attack. And, and that's why England are being so successful at the moment. Do you think, Jip, with that, um, with their attacking, our new style, you're obviously the, the style that Brad's brought in, that kind of style there would have been one us at the World Cup. Uh, it, w- it wouldn't have. It wouldn't matter. We would have had to have matched the the physicality at the mm. breakdown. We we lost that. We lost that game at the breakdown mm. and, and and that dominance and defence. So, I don't think I don't think that the style that they're running now would have drastically changed that because it wasn't about us. Mm. It was actually about what England did, mm. and and that's where we we've got to acknowledge in that one test. England were just physically dominant and, and you just can't play footy. It doesn't matter what attack plan you have. If you're on the back foot and you don't have fast ball, she's good night nurse. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's exciting. I think it's really exciting for example. Would you right. say then England is the best team in the world right now? I, I, to me, until South Africa plays again, they're, they're the best team in the world. South Africa? Yeah. Yep. It, it, it right. does, they, they haven't played, but they, they deserve that. Yeah. That's the beauty of winning the World Cup. Mm. You deserve it. They've earned it. 
So yeah. until they play again, they can't be judged otherwise. Yeah, yeah. You're not one of those people who says they're the World Cup champions as opposed to the World Champions, you know, because it can change year by year in rugby and quite quickly. Oh, it can. And, and look, I'm sure it will. Look, I still think even though uh, the All Blacks didn't win the World Cup, like, in terms of consistency, they are the best team in the world. Yep. Yeah. But Springboks won it. And, and, and they won it on the day. England came second. So those two teams have to be in the discussion for being the best out there. And I don't think the All Blacks need the pressure of uh, are, they, are they the best, are they not? They're just going about their business. And, yeah. they're, and, and they're not craving that just yet. They're, they're going towards, as they themselves have said, they're going towards something special. Mm. It actually doesn't change anything because we expect them to win every single game exactly. somewhat may. So exactly. whether you've got that top ranking or not, that, that's kind of completely by the and by. There's enough competition within the group. You know, we've yeah. talked about it. You know, the internal drive for the players to be able to play to be in their 1-23, that's going to drive you no matter what. Again, those kind of accolades, all those competitions will come at a later date. But again, when you've got that competition in that team, well, that'll drive you. What do you think they'd take? Second in the world rankings for the next three years, but they win the World Cup? Yeah, 100%. Exactly. So the, the world rankings don't really matter. Mm. Yeah. Everyone wants the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, we saw that during the last cycle when I think the Welsh were world number one for a couple of yeah. days. And it was yeah. like, well, that's obviously a well, joke. You know? Yeah, and they're really struggling at the moment, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, they are. And you talk about defence. The Scottish defence was exceptional. Like they, they are working hard for each other as a group. They're, they're, they're creating something. They'll need to probably, the opposite of France, is learn to score more points. Yeah. But defensively, they, 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 were, they were really strong.